Hello everybody, and welcome to a new episode of my Senior Citizen Run. Well, it's uh, session 5. My dude is uh, pretty roughed up. He's looking like a very, very unhappy old man. And I guess it's about time that we, uh, we consider patching ourselves up and uh, see where, where we'll go with that. So, I am not bandaged at all. Okay. So, let's start with that. And, um, well, what time of the day it is? Is it very early in the morning? So, my my goal for today's session is a simple one. I want to get into, into the center of Acton. Because there's just way too many good things down the road there. Not only do we have two gun stores, we also have a strip club. And uh, we have a clothing store, we have an electronics store. I mean, there's uh, there's always fair chances that uh, these these shops are already looted when you get there. But you have to go get there to find out. So, well, we're we're going to uh, we're we're going to put on our, all our all uh, all of our backpacks and uh, head back home into the uh, to the uh, to the base. You know. It's right around the corner, so that's a pretty lucky start for old man icon, gotta say. So we're going to start out a bit more peaceful and uh, go for some rough city action later down the road. So first off, I've decided that I wanted to live here, right? Yeah. There's already all manner of different junk before, uh, right in front of the door. So for for starters, we're, we're just going to add stuff to the pile. I'm not there yet that I would be able to... Um, uh, oh, leather jacket. Um, that I want to set up my base uh, for real. For now, I just want to get rid of things. Get my carrying capacity back up. all these magazines on me good god all right still pretty uh pretty encumbered but that's okay so what do i have lockpick wise quite a couple that's good so my dude is in intense pain though so let's start fixing that problem first now I need a water source. Ah, yeah, this place even had a water source. That's why I liked it so much. Delit, hi there. I relate to you, dude. Aren't we all? <laughs> well, he he got uh, he got a lot of damage on torso and legs, so I don't think that does uh, go. That does relate to his all. Why do I carry a stun gun with me? How did that happen? Interesting. All right. So, oh, tear down the curtains. So we now have to make racks out of it differently. So disassemble sheet, patchwork cotton sheets. Dispose my wakizashi. All right, and. Uh, how are they called again now? Changes. My brain doesn't uh, relate to the well your cotton patches. So, can I make cotton patches here directly? I need cotton scraps. So this is more for... One cotton patch out of one cotton patch. There. Alright, not what I'm looking for. Weird enough. So... Looks like I have to disassemble these things uh, even further. So, salvaged seven cotton patches. There we go. And so, the easiest way must be to just uh, pick all of these up, drop all of these onto the floor. I bet there are easier ways, but the easiest way that I see right now 
these suckers down and disassemble everything once. So let's see. Now we have 88 cotton patches. I love that one piece of curtain now it gives you so many more cotton patches than ever before. Like uh, this is this is really much better than uh, than the older versions. Much 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 better. Hey Ash, welcome. Happy to see you, man. So we're going to pick up one backpack, so we're going to be able to pick up the hot plate. So let's see. I want to make myself a couple of bandages. Let's say ten. And uh, we're, we're going to drop off the uh, remaining cotton patches because I really don't need them. I really don't want them. So, bandage. We are able to make boiled tool with boiling. Ah, oh, yeah, of course I need to bring a vessel for that of sorts. So, how about a copper pot or two? I don't care. So that should do the trick. Yep. So let's do this. Okay, so we're going to drop off the pots and the hot plates there. Because I will do this more often here now, so let's bandage ourselves with fresh hot bandages. I love it that they are always dis dis descri described as hot. Yeah. <laughs> you see that feeling that uh, you can relate to this poor old man? Mustn't it feel good to have a nice warm bandage on your body? Alright. Let's go. We're taking good care of our old man, that's for sure. Um, where's my Wakizashi at? There. Okay. So worse things have been taken care of. I have a handful of bandages now to work with. And uh, let's see. Mm, wine making for beginners. That's a uh, typical old man lecture, don't you think? So let's read a bit. Oh, I, uh, I'm already way beyond that. Hmm. Whoopsie. Didn't know that. Sucks. Alrighty, then uh, it's only good for the recipes in it, I guess. You can can at home. It's only good for very low food handling as well. So turns out we really got to... Ah yeah, here. Through the lens. That's also some old man lecture. That's good. But uh, oh, there's really only so and so much to learn out of that. Okay, so this was not enough uh, time reading here for sure, so let's put up our backpack and go plundering some books. Like that, you know, some chill out gameplay. And uh, beyond that, well, my plan for today is uh, to consider using new and better weapons. Something like uh, using more guns and such. So, uh, there's a hobby seller down there. Bet that there's books there as well, but, uh... So... Let's see, um, there's a food processor, a multi-cooker, oh my god. Mine, mine, and mine. Oh, the microwave, maybe not. Too much for my old back. Hmm. Wants to come back for the microwave. Mostly for the parts, but, uh, you know. So for, for now, we're just going to drop these items there. Because I'm not sure if I really want to uh, make this my permanent home. Now, where are these tools there? Food processor. The multi-cooker really uh, does weigh a ton. But, I mean... Let's see how good that's actually. That actually is. But I really want to. Um, I really want to have the uh, microwave slot. 
Welcome, I'm a teen. Happy to see you. Sorry if I butcher the uh, pronunciation of your name. Do what I can. So, good for scrap parts, exactly. That's why I want to have it. Maybe I don't need to pick up things for scrap parts as of yet, though. But, well. I want to dive deeper into crafting in this run than I ever did. Mostly because I feel like, uh... This is something old people would do. After the apocalypse. I'm trying to, uh, roleplay... Roleplay the old man experience. So there's glass jars and lots of other good things that we're going to use later. So how is my intake today? Quite well. Alrighty. So we're going to pick up more of these. No, actually not. So. Hmm. The flashlight. So. Do I have this uh, battery now on me, or did I, uh... Yeah, I do. Alright. good -o. Well, let's pick up the other batteries as well. Good. Yeah, crafting in this game is a beast. And I never got, uh, really deeper into it. And this was, uh, you know... Ideally, I try to find a, uh... A a common ground between my roleplay ideas and uh, what I want to learn or get better at. So, Glamopolitan, definitely not helping us out here. Ham Radio Illustrated. My old man does know nothing about electronics. Now that's one afternoon read, isn't it? So, let's interrupt that for... for some nice, tasty cellar water. Uh, well, the bodies here in the in the in the basement though will be an issue at the in the long run, I think. Well, probably have to get rid of that. Good God, this guy was thirsty. So let's see. Let's keep reading here. You need some nicotine. Oh yeah, let's have a smoke. Whoop -de -doo. I was looting so many cigs from the zombies that I'm really not too afraid that uh, the old man is uh, ever running out of uh, stuff to uh, smoke. And if uh, if things really get uh, rough, we're going to um, plant our own tobacco. There's always an option. So why is my torso healing so slowly? Oh, yeah, bandage is already all wearing off. No, it's already almost the entire day gone as well, so... It's about time that we stop eating uh, the, the leftovers out of the uh, freezers as well. I think it's about time that I consider learning some cooking as well or moving in. Oh, so excited. So computer knowledge. Ooh, computers 4 needed to uh, do this. So, sushi made easy, you know, the old man is quite good at cooking, but, uh... He's not good at sushi yet. He discovered how good assembling lawnmowers is to make makeshift glaives. Now that's... that's, that's smart. <laughs> of course, that's a source of blades. Thanks for that spoiler. <laughs> no, I'm not uh, salty about that, I'm, I'm just amazed. Okay, we're, we're just going to uh, keep reading uh, What's a Transistor until the sun goes down, because I feel like the uh, this is uh, this is just not uh, really a good idea to to go for another expedition when my dude is so damn battered up. So let's eat that uh, disgusting tofu. Again, Ooh. it's old tofu, you know. So here, there's even the same assortment of machines there that I carried over here. Good job. So let's forget about the disgusting taste of the tofu with a uh, good old-fashioned sig, and uh, let's see. Let's see. Can we do some better? 
disinfection. Yes, yes. So I wonder if there's a option for wait until your cigarette's done. No. All right, but uh, we're we're going to do it this way. Well, white bad audio does deliver some really good beats, especially for CDDA. I think the playlists from this guy rock for uh, this. So let's shut all the windows because we're uh, by now. I'm a paranoid paranoid old geezer. Seriously, I have played this game long enough to know that there's really 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 bad things that can ambush you from the outside and uh, the best you can do is just be invisible have no smell make no sound and uh, you know the usual things so well, let's light up a sig I, I love playing an addict this is so much fun especially if you plan to cultivate your addiction and not uh, Give up on it, you know. This old man is too stubborn for changes. So, the next thing that I want to do today is I want to pick some locks. I don't know which cellar it was uh, exactly anymore, but I know it was this row of houses, and uh, I want to have a better sword, you know. I know that there were some down here. Here. This is the cellar, so we have to go two houses further. All right. Let's pick some locks. I even brought a battery for my... There we go. So, I mean... Wait a sec. I, I, I should be able to just smash it, shouldn't I? Sounds like I'm... I am. A stock arming sword. Long sword cut last. So, well, let's see. You hear a whack, you hear a whack. Uh, it, it's obvious that these aren't as, uh... Oh boy! There's, uh... There's more stuff here than I thought. So, junk ornamental plate armor. Oh good god. Yeah, those uh, improvised weapons with their uh, high break rate, it's amazingly annoying to play with them long for longer periods of time. Tried it, but... Uh... So... How much uh, does this encumber me? A lot, I think. I mean, 18 kilo. It's just a heavy for the old man. Chainmail chosses. Now, that's a different uh, cup of tea, though. Metal shows signs of rust and corrosion. Leather arm guards. We definitely should wear these. So, let's see. Because on my arms, I had so far only the leather jacket. Right. So, pair of socks, pair of boots. I could wear the uh, chains, uh, the, the chainmail chosses on top of that. I mean, I'm getting more and more encumbered altogether, but, uh, oof cares if you're basically invulnerable. So what's a Galia? Ah, a Roman helmet, I see. So is there now anything so knee pads? Go knee pads and chain melt chosses together. What are the yellow things saying? Is this a conflict or something? It pretty much sounds like it, but no, I don't think so. I think the yellow ones are just, uh, no, they're not. Maybe they are uh, displaying differently because they go over several body parts? No. There must be some reasoning behind that, and I think it's uh, trying to tell me that they add an, uh, 
Wearing multiple items close to your skin and your torso is adding encumbrance there. Yeah. So. If I'd get rid of that, let's see. Mm-hmm. There we go. So the leather jacket and the leather arm guards don't play nice together. The chainsaw chaps and the knee pads don't play nice together. So... There we go. If I understand these things correctly, that is. Anyway, so what are we going to pick up now? I mean... Let's try to pick the lock for the Cutlass, because I uh, obviously has have a uh, backup there. So, this is a... Uh, let's see, it's compare that to my Wakizashi. The Wakizashi does way more damage. Way, 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 way more damage. So, uh, I think this weapon is superior in pretty much every single way. So, let's lock pick the uh, Longsword as well. Whoopsie. Uh, yeah. So slower, but a massive two hit bonus. And has some maneuvers. I didn't check out the maneuvers when uh, oh, about this one. So techniques when wielded parry, high blocking ability. And this thing comes with rapid strikes and parry, so um yeah. So I, I wasn't aware of the fact that I picked up the probably strongest weapon of the bunch. Which is kind of sad because uh, that means I have already worn down my most, one of my most powerful weapons. That also means I have to go for something worse now. Wow. So many successes in a row and then uh, nothing. Ah. Yeah. A stock. Well, that's a piercing weapon now. Exactly. Holy crap. Lots of piercing damage. We are going to use this one day. You guys are cl plain old clowns. Interesting. So... So, the arming sword, well, this one is aluminum and it's a replica, so. Seems to be made very poorly. Ah, budget steel. Now, I get it. So, uh, here, budget steel. You feel like the pommel could just snap. So uh, this one is a is the real deal. So we're we're going to uh, go and use some of those budget swords. So um, I overestimated the value of these. So the crease dagger is pretty decent quality, and uh, the stock is decent quality. But all the other weapons here, oh well, we have to pick the lock of this one here. Yeah, I bet that you need to, that you want a cigarette after all this. So, this is a real deal cutlass. That's totally different stats. Alright, I'm relieved. I was like uh, already a little bit too freaked out there. Okay, so. I did now uh, flick the, the Bakizashi wear. Um, I'm not wielding it anymore. Where did I drop it? Oh, come on. Still have it on me, right? I have it in my backpack. Please tell me uh, I have it in my backpack. Alright, um, let's use this. Er, here. West of me, it says. So, I dropped the deck. Okay. Now then, um, which one of these atrocities will I pick up? I I'd say we're going to pick up the, the junk cutlass first and uh, wear that down. That's okay. For tier 1 zombies, I bet it's uh, absolutely good enough, so I'm not stressing out myself here too much. Alright, so, uh, old pickled fish. Hmm, that's just, uh, that's just the breakfast of champions, old man. I hope that doesn't bite my back later. So, let's have some, uh... 
Vitamin C, plenty. All right. Dudo, let's head on over to the uh, to the Evil Boy's place, I'd say. But only after I had a uh, a nice boiler sip. It's a really cool thing that you have a crap ton of water um, available for yourself when you start out with this background there. There's so many apartments there, and every apartment has a uh, um, endless supply of, uh, of, of, of potable water. No, not an endless supply. Um, a large supply of potable water. And uh, after I've uh, cleared out this whole place, it ain't much of an issue anymore. And uh, I had to open this effing door. Just uh, bothers me so much to see a door that would be extremely useful and not be able to open it. So let's uh, turn, well, just make sure that uh, we're uh, running with safe mode. Personally find that incredibly important. It's there. Chocolate bars. Hell yeah. Why do I not have a chocolate bar in me? That's the real breakfast of champions, so you have good so have a good mood now, old man. Okay, so we're we're going to go now uh, into the into the danger zone. There we go. So there's Zits up ahead. Let's turn off the safety mode and uh, drop our stuff right on the floor. Ah, oh, well. I wish I had something like uh, like an assault rifle or so. Oh, look at that! There's there's our buddy I bought. What's more than that? Well, I already have some small guns, dear. <laughs> I need bigger <laughs> guns now. So. Oh, this... oh, <laughs> Just like, need to find a reenactment for it, and you will find them there. And I'm not joking about that. Yeah, I, I was just thinking I wouldn't be surprised. So if that there, actually exists. there is our good friend, the police bod. Hey there, police! They are vandalizing uh, your police gear. I mean, that lady has taste, always canon. Well, I wouldn't have married her if she if she hadn't uh, if she had no taste. So. We got police. That's pretty useful. You can't always uh, use police. Um, I'm wearing my backpack now, aren't I? Yeah. Got that. I already made it that far. So, but uh, there's. Uh, it all comes back to me now. We've been slaughtering the dudes there all together already. Okay. Mm, I might be not really wanting to fight with a backpack on me, but uh, that's okay. There we go. Let's drop the backpack, though. Come on, dude. Good boy. There we go. Let's have some fun. Alrighty, you are pretty dead -o. Okay, it's probably a uh, weird... Uh, Statement to say the zombie is dead, but uh, you know what I say. You know what I'm trying to uh, say there. Okay, so this is these are the leftovers of the last police party, and I vaguely remember that the last police party didn't went uh, down, didn't go down that well for me. I think this was uh, where I almost uh, died from. So. Your choice of a cannon was positively uh, recepted by the chat. Just wanted to let you know about it. Mm -hmm. The chat likes your choice of, uh, of weapons. <laughs> Felt obliged to tell you. Alright, so the police cop is there and the other m monstrosities. So let's open the car for them. Why is there... okay. North of me is a zombie. That I don't didn't see coming. This car has solar panels. All right. Really want to take care about the condition of my um, cutlass there. 
because I have that slight feeling that it will wear down much, much faster than the Wakizashi. But luckily, I have a real deal um, cutlass there. Ain't working bad either. That's pretty good there. So, let's see. Does anybody of you have uh, something to uh, care about? A joint. Definitely something to care about. Some pineapple juice. Right. That joint is for later this evening. So, shotgun beanbag. What the hell is that? Beanbag round for shotguns. Designed less lethal. Alright. Remember that less lethal does not mean non lethal. Yeah. A PR24 baton. This is actually a, a really, really, really good find. And, uh,. If there is a shotgun beanbag, isn't there a shotgun as well? Oh, oh, shot. There's magazines. Police, police duty belt. But where are your guns? Kevlar vest. Definitely should. That's a real good drop because it's extremely well. Uh... Okay, I, I need my backpack now. Hey, Premier 2K, welcome. Happy to see you, man. So, do I still wear my uh, backpack? No, it's here. I need to get that. Do you know how rare a Kevlar vest is in this condition? It's an absolutely amazing find. The tech vest is also... Yeah, please, gimme. We're going to wash that. No biggie. Look at that. Here comes even with a holster. Nuts. That's more, that, that, that's been one hell of a drop. Let's do it here. Okay. So, let's get back. Alright. Have a good one, man. See you soon. Alrighty. So, well, police is busy taking down the uh, rest of the Z's. I'm going to be busy now to wash my uh, valuable, valuable, valuable drops. Hello there, Oliveira. Welcome. So. First off, we have to craft ourselves a washing kit. That should be the least of my worries. Any kitchen should do. So, washing. Washing kit requires a washboard. Alright, I have to make myself a washboard first. Got it. Hello, well, thank you, man. Appreciate your massively kind gesture. It's so nice of you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, space exploration is just setting off. We're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Thank you so much, man. I can't wait to get deeper into uh, where I am now with SpaceX because I literally got deeper now where I uh, where I left off the last time and day four. Good stuff, and uh, you're motivating me. That's all I can say. <laughs> so let's drop down a washboard, and uh, yeah, yeah. Well. Last week I managed to um, to get there. The rocket part thing that was just uh, whoa, such a nightmare, you know, such a massive nightmare. Now the game tells me that I cannot carry the washboard there. Okay, then I'm going to wield this freaking washboard. Leave that cut glass behind, who cares? Yeah, when I started up the last stream, I was like, wow, I have already made 26 streams of uh, space exploration. <laughs> I found that quite hard to believe, but uh, there I am. There I am. So, let's see. Um, I'm now able to make that washing kit. And uh, we're going to make it out of a dish towel. And uh, here. 
So, mysteriously, the washing kit is now fitting back into my backpack. It still consists out of the same washing board that didn't fit into my backpack a moment ago, but magic. I don't care. So, let's pick up my uh, wakizashi again. And I'm, I'm still a little bit... Uh, a loss of words of your generosity there, Premier. I'm, I'm really... Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> so... That's that. Now, let's wash that stuff. The only thing that I'm lacking now is some soap of sorts. Let's see. I know that you always find... Uh, yeah, here, detergent. That should work. No problem, you say. I wish more people would be uh, would be thinking like you. <laughs> so, alright, where's that washing kit? Um, here. So, let's see. I got, I got all the cleaning items I need, and uh, here we go. So, the holster is, this is such a massive improvement. Tech vest, Kevlar vest, and uh, and the holster. So I really got some armor now. I really, really got some armor now. I mean, I also got some encumbrance now, but uh, you know. So. I hope that uh, your that your attitude will carry over to many many other people, so I can finally make a good living of my job. It it really means a lot to see this kind of appreciation because you know a lot of people nowadays have this uh, for free mentality, and uh, it's always uh, a very very uh, good feeling to see that not everybody is ever to, uh, is taking everything for granted out there. So, I'm going to drop the washing kit, because it's damn heavy. Hey, Air Drycon, welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. So, it's Roguelike Monday, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I also got a... I, I noticed that I am carrying around a lot of stuff now. So, let's see. If I drop my backpack, it ain't. Uh, I'm not losing much stuff here. So the chainsaw chaps are weighing something. The Kevlar vest ain't ain't a uh, low weight thing either. So let's see. The tech vest is also weighing quite something. The tool belt. Okay. So um, yeah. Well, what do we have in that tool belt that uh? What's inside there that uh, I'm carrying, that I'm losing so much weight if I would drop it? Hammer, crowbar, flashlight. Alright, I always think, is that thing so heavy? Well, I appreciate that. So yeah, the tool bell itself is weighing 6.3 kilo. Good god, I had no clue. <laughs> Always thought like this is a uh, okay, amazing. What's the actual goal? Um, whatever you make out of it. There's a lot of l uh, lore out there. You can uh, just uh, yeah, it's a very sandboxy game. I I get it that uh, I get that problem. Here for me, I'm still exploring whatever is out there, and uh, I want to find all the things that you can find there and try out the massive crafting system but you have to come up with an idea by yourself otherwise the game will leave you a little bit uh, bored after a while yeah I really still hope that the devs of this game will uh, develop some um, um, yeah, you know, some win, some, some win conditions. I love it when a game has a certain 
mm, let's call it a, a a a door or labeled exit you know it's always nice to have a larger goal where you know that you you can say yourself i'm 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 finished with the main part of the game I feel like a lot of people really really uh, like that and uh, miss something if they don't have that going on Alrighty, Ash right about that. I didn't want to point it out because I just want to show gratitude, but uh, that's right. YouTube is stealing a lot of this. I mean, PayPal is also stealing a lot, uh, is stealing off of me, but uh, if you're hanging out with thieves, you know, gotta check out that you pick, that you pick the least. Uh, were some thieves. My cutlass already has a dent. The link is also in the text is in the description box here as well. Hmm, bright nights. Yeah, I I'm totally down to trying out uh, mod packs at some point as well. But for now, I don't feel like I'm uh, I'm there yet. You know. So. This is a very, very dangerous approach, but... Why did that one go so bad? Weird. So... Yeah, well, that Cutlass is a pretty crappy weapon, That's, that must be why. So, yeah, but at some point you, uh, you get to the... You get past the pod where uh, survival is hard. So. Turns out I'm fighting a lot, a lot worse after my new gear. Even getting some wax in from enemies that clearly. It clearly shouldn't wha shouldn't be whacking me, so we have to uh, check out our gear and optimize that a bit. Also, take care of all the infections that have come up. Whoopsie. Anywho, that's what you got your 117 alcohol wipes for, you know. Ah, I see, I see. Thanks for the explanation about the Bright Knights thing. Wasn't sure, wasn't aware of that, actually. I mean, I do agree in so far that Cataclysm has some really terrible problems in terms of user interface optimization. That's just a nightmare. Wow, the 30 person are letting me down quite a lot here. Okay, here we go. Just wipe it with a alcohol towel long enough until it doesn't bother you anymore. So, I'm totally deprived of stats there. I'm damp now. And, uh... Why the hell are my base stats so low? Was there a recent change behind the penalties for old age? Like, uh, my stats weren't that low the last time. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to, um, we're going to get on over to the part of the city where, where it's already safe. Alright, have a great day, YouTube Premier. Thanks for dropping by. Well, the thing here is that you really have to set up yourself, your own goals and your own ideas for this game. It's, uh, as far as I've seen people that play this game a lot, they all, or most of them, start role-playing a lot. Go for, um, certain themes in their run, you know, where you, where you go for a certain uh, challenge or a certain certain mindset on your character. Ah, oh, crap. The police. 
So we have to find new victims for the police. Because otherwise, the police will follow me. Pretty annoying. You always have to feed new victims to the police until the police has been beaten. It's just how things go here. Yeah, you too, man. You too. Yo. So, I have no clue why the other guy is so reluctant to follow me. Must be chilling out, huffing the um, the uh, tranquilizing vapors of the other guy. Alrighty, so knock yourself, Sam. Have a good one. I'm out. So, let's light up a sig and uh, do it like the action heroes do. Go away. Leave an explosion behind you and uh, just don't give a damn about the rest. I'm not quite sure um, what you're referring to there, Ed. End game. Yeah, that's a sound pack I'm running here. I'm going to show you guys some. Um, here, this is the auto pack. So I don't want to go back home as of yet, so we're going to check on out. Yeah, let's uh, get there and uh, read a fantasy novel. Let's see. I bet that we'll find some aspirins in there. Let's pick up the other goodies as well. Pop some aspirins, bandage yourselves up, and uh, have a good have a good read, you know. Just have a good read. And then I have to somehow find out why my stats are so low all of a sudden. Did I create that low? Probably. Probably it's uh, it's been my own choice. I'm already out of bandages. Good god. So... Let's just read until the pain gets a little bit less unmanageable. Especially uh, being lowered on speed is just a terribly uh, bad thing. So, the old man needs some nicotine. Always the same. Yep. It's session five for the old man. So, okay. There we go. Situation is getting a little bit better here. Nothing beats sitting out there in the apocalypse reading some good fantasy book. Obviously. Mood's back online. Let's have another uh, smoke, and uh, let's get back into the city. So I wonder if I shouldn't be dropping some of these things, so let's see. Torso is now playing nicely. The sheath and the holster are not playing nicely together either, so we're going to change that. And let's see, we only have now the leather arm guards and the leather jacket conflicting with each other, so let's drop that as well. So on paper, my gear is now somehow balanced. I don't know if I read these I, uh, these, these windows correctly or not, but uh, we'll find out. So that cutlass is more of a bashing weapon. Oh, that's why my fighting sucks right now. So. Yo, Ash, see you later, man. So. 
The police is out of work again. Only thing, uh... Which sucks about the police is that they don't pulp zombie bodies. They'd be playing with the zombies forever if I'd be not helping them. But uh, speaking about not helping them, this is a uh, zombie soldier. I'd really be, uh, I'd really love to loot him. So we are pretty close to the area where I actually wanted to be. So let's see, the police car, it has wheels, but it has a faulty engine, but thanks. Blue HD, welcome, I appreciate that. I want to redo the tutorial series one day soon though. For one, a lot of things have changed, and for another thing, I have changed as well. No jokes aside, I've just learned a thing or two, and uh, I'm bothered by all the things that I haven't covered in the in the first place and you know it's just uh, yeah well I guess with tutorial series of games that are still in development you can always uh, have a lot of uh, business there so here um, yeah I do this intentionally it's either breaking the police or making the police work for me you know Actually, hope that the zombies break them at some point, but uh, this could th this might take a while until they're done with that. Usually, the the Z's are losing these fights because they're just not able to pierce the armor of them dudes that well. So, oh, this is a pretty sucky situation to be in. Let's run for a moment. Let's run away. There we go. If I wouldn't have uh, switched over to run, the situation might have been really, really bad. Like getting grabbed from two sides and uh, getting into uh, real trouble bad. Instead, it's not bad at all. Ooh, there's a car. With a draining battery, but beyond that, the car seems to be workable. I'm just interested in having some... food here yeah the uh, this moral effect combat um oof, it's a good question actually I'm not able to tell you honestly I do know that uh, your mood does influence how fast you how fast you craft stuff one thing I know So, as you see here, the zombies are just not winning it. Let's see, the police bot is completely unscathed, and the uh, ride control bot as well. So I'm just sitting, just, just standing here, having a smoke and uh, waiting for the police to do their thing. And then take care of all the leftovers. This way I don't get any XP, but uh, you know, XP were a R modded thing in the first place, so it ain't that terrible. There's another Z coming on in. Let's escort him friendly to the police. Okay, so there is a zombie soldier. Always check out zombie soldiers. M-O-L-E large backpack you know I still want that assault rifle and zombie soldiers are among the most uh, reliable sources or you just find a zipper bag with crack on the on the pavement that's also possible zombies these days I tells him they're high on all manner of different things only a grandpa icon can put a stop to this uh, drug uh, spree. Imagine the old man with his uh, pipe in his mouth, walking around, whacking and shouting at zombies. 
I like the idea of that. So, there's one ballistic vest, but uh, beyond that, there's really not much, sadly. So, there's some more crack. Even a crack pipe. Stanek 30 round magazine. Um, this is usually 5.56 uh, ammo. But where's the gun to that? Tell me. No gun. No gun, no fun. Yeah. The moment we got hands on a on a real gun and uh, some larger amount of ammo, we can really go places. There's even been some meth on the floor here. Jeez. No wonder this whole ta uh, town went to hell. Damn junkies. So, there is uh, one more crazy dude here. So, there is our first zombie brood. Definitely worth mentioning. Zombie brutes are bad news. You don't want to uh, step up close with these guys. Normally, that is. That one police bot is standing in a very unfavorable position for him, but I don't care about that. Well, let's see. Um, police bot is uh, is getting overwhelmed there. I think the zombie brute is starting to win this. So, um, I'm going to take a, a bit of... Uh, respectful distance from the whole situation let's see this might be the end of the police spree let's see about that yep there's uh let's see a zombie brood is pretty deado though would be a pretty good opportunity also to kill myself So let's see. They're taking down the right control bot as well, but the zombie brood is pretty uh pretty done as well. It's just one blow. It would be foolish not to take this opportunity now. So we're we're going to use the, the zombie fun car. So I mean this gun is just you know as done as a zombie brood can be. This was uh, practically a free delivery of uh, getting rid of a pretty dangerous dude. I mean, you can already imagine how dangerous a zombie brute is alone from the fact that uh, these uh, police bots were totally unstoppable the whole time until they met the zombie brute, and uh, that alone I think is a statement. So, thanks to police, this problem has been resolved. Yeah. That low quality cutlass is really not uh, serving me too well there. Oh, there's a Z9. Didn't really see that. Yeah, the police was great to us. Cataclysm is the only game where I'm, I'm always happy to see the police. So, yeah, but altogether, this was really a, a huge cleanup uh, swipe, you know? Clean sweep. We took down so many baddies in one go. Especially happy about the um, zombie Hulk. The zombie Hulk getting done like that it was uh, really feeling good there. Ugh. All right, so looks like we're still far from being done with this place. It's really a lot of seas in this place there. So let's start looting a bit. So, more ammo. Tobacco pipe. Well, more rolling tobacco, that's great. Old man icon never leaves uh, house without his tobacco pipe. So... 
But it's damn late in the day already, so... Uh, there's another PR-24 Baton. I'm not going to pick that up because we're, uh, we're already set. Broken police pod. Sniff. Poor guy. He's been a great pal. He's been a great pal. So, let's see. But so far, the loot was quite underwhelming. Is it worth plundering cities at night? Um... Well, first of all, it's definitely uh, possible and worth it to kite the zombies uh, out one by one during the daytime. This is how I clear cities most of the time. So that that just as a as a starter, because you say it's uh, not really, it's not a, not a good idea. Um, but if you have night vision or any tool that can provide night vision. Um, it's it's absolutely amazing to be out there at night. Um, my characters always run night vision because this allows you to see a bit in the in the darkness, and uh, this is really useful. It's really really useful. And utilizing that, you can just plunder the cities at night. Just be careful. You need to take care of sound and smell because uh, if you make a lot of ruckus, the zombies are not only relying on their eyesight. So, if you're uh, smashing windows and the like, don't be too surprised if they still find you. But if you take care, if you use this um, movement mode menu here to crouch and the like, whenever there's uh, something where you want to avoid making too much noise, it really works out quite decently. So, is this guy? Yep. Forgot to pop you. So, lots of the weapons we found in that basement weren't as good as they seemed, which is kind of sad, but uh, at the same time, I don't mind it too much, because, um, you know, even this uh, low-quality cutlass is still better than uh, all the improvised weapons you could get out there. So, nothing to be too sad about. Alright, let's walk over to our retirement home, and uh, let's see. Luckily, I have prepared everything I need to make myself more bandages at my uh, at my personal home. So we do need more bandages now. So let's see. I wish this game would have the ability to uh, pre-craft things for you. You know, like uh, that I don't have to make every time the makeshift bandages before I can make them boiled makeshift bandages. So many games do no how to make a pre-product in crafting. This would really, really ease up the crafting system of this game if you wouldn't have to check out every single effing step by yourself. That would really, really make things so much easier. I think uh, that would also ease up the um, burden of getting into the game, but if it would be easy, easily implementable, I bet it would have been already done. So um, it's much safer in the nighttime. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that the zombies don't profit from uh, from moonlight. Interesting. Yeah, well, Bloom, if if it bothers you to have to kite too many enemies at once, my personal um, recommendation to you would then be try to loot a couple of uh, guns as soon as you have access to that you have to beat a couple of these the uh, uncomfortable way but as soon as you have access to a couple of handguns shotguns and the like just cram yourself with uh, as much stuff as you can possibly um, carry without uh, slowing down yourself horribly and then gun away because you can't just shoot these guys and they will follow you and guns are taking care of enemies quite quickly and you can't kill them off from a distance. Should be pretty uh, easily working out too. If you don't want to go the uh, the zombie clown car um, strategies that I use there, I, I totally get it. I mean, that's a pretty um, pretty lengthy way of doing things. So let's read the car buyer's guide because uh, you know it's the end of the day. I like to read something at the end of the day. So, I promised the old man 
joint. So I hope that also satisfies his nicotine uh, desires. And let's see. Let's have some yogurt and some bacon while it's still good. There we go. The thing is, the thing is about the newer versions of CDDA, um, the drop rate of ammo and guns in the city has been massively increased. So, from my experience, I always have way more ammo than I actually use, and that's why I thought it would be actually quite a good idea to um, use it more nowadays. Just my thoughts. Alrighty, so let's see. My dude is pretty, pretty proficient at crafting things. I don't think that we are uh, good at uh, smithing things so far. I, mean, I don't have the uh, necessary tools either. But um, let's see. Homemade rockets. Sure. Ah, that's a new category. So. Lots of food stuff to craft chem stuff to craft. So... Electronics. Crude heating element. So, I'm good at fabrication, but I'm not good at tailoring, hey? Alright, so... Let's start with that, I'd say. Let's make ourselves a belly wrap. And now... Let's... Uh, where was that menu? No. Disassemble there. And disassemble it again. And this way, let's see. In the past, at least, it was possible to get yourself that yeah, tailoring level one. To get yourself some basic fundamental tailoring knowledge by just crafting something very easy and uh, disassembling it afterwards. Okay, it's almost 9 p.m. Let's sleep. Well, um, homemade rockets is just a uh, category for all the uh, projectiles that I can craft. So, good morning, sunshine. Breakfast tobacco. Yum, yum, yum. Alright. So, my dude's very hungry. Doesn't stop me from going to city very early. We're just going to loot some food on the way. I want to know if I can make it deeper into the city. Mm, no. Don't want to stop moving. Thank you for asking me, though. So, let's see. There's a there's a home. And therefore... Oh, there. I hear noises outside. So, before we do anything else, let's get rid of the backpack. Oh, crap. My dude is not wielding his weapon anymore. And he's not wielding any weapons whatsoever. Oh, crap. I hate it when that happens. Mm. So, let's see. Well, not what I wanted to do, but it served the purpose, so let's see. Ugh, I hate it when that happens. So, let's see, I bet I, uh, I left the cutlass back at the, uh, at the pool. Okay, well... 
Let's learn. So that's how you lose some HP with no with no benefit at all. I'm a great tutor, not a am I? Here, there we go. There's the weapon I was looking for. Damn it. Okay. Mistakes have been made. Shit happens. Let's get over it. Okay. I mean, good thing that I still had the gun on me. Otherwise, without the gun, things would have been really, really bleak. Speaking about which, uh, about, uh, let's uh, reload that thing. I only have six bullets left. Hmm. Uncool. Very, very uncool. Alright, now let's have the chocolate bars I had on me. Gobble down some aspirin against pain. Now let's retry that. Once more with a weapon in the hands. Which days do you open live? Er, what? You mean which days I stream? Or, uh... Sorry if I missed it, if I misunderstand you there. Roguelikes are always Mondays. That's uh, one thing. I do stream all manner of stuff in between. Feel free to correct me if I am totally misunderstanding you there and uh, blabbering stuff you're not interested about. But roguelikes are made uh, during... Um, I do make on, on Mondays and uh, all the other stuff in between. It's all on the Discord. Sometimes I do stream uh, roguelikes also in between. Just started to make a schedule that uh, everybody knows when to find a certain uh, type of genre. Though, so we can't go even further. I really cleared out a lot of this city already. I keep being surprised about how far I need to go until I find the next Z's. So... But this is it. Here, we gotta be careful. There's still a ton of dudes. But I'm very, very close to my, um... To where I wanted to be. So there's dense urban living. Probably that's why we have so many Zets uh, around us there. So, there's a couple of brainless dudes down there. In the vicinity of a, uh, ruins. Skeletal zombie. Ugh. Okay. I don't know how dangerous these are, actually. But altogether, the street has been mostly cleared out. Which is pretty great because it's the street out of the town as well, so. This might get us somewhere. So, here we go. Be careful with headless zombies. When you stand too long at the same spot where you made some noises, they come for you. Also worth uh, knowing if you want to lure them towards you, that is. Alrighty. So there's a feral human somewhere around the corners. Oh boy. Oh no, I don't want to fight it like that. There's nothing worse than fighting zombies out in the open, unless you are a super armored uh, cyber knight. Then things are probably different, but... I'm far away from uh, living that fantasy. Although, I gotta say... The situations I've been through here would have been a lot worse if I wouldn't had uh, so much armor. So... Um, not as far as I know. The only thing I know about is that um, 
um, that body's not taken care of or attracting um, cockroaches at some point. Not, uh, I don't know if they can spawn the cockroaches as well, but I do know that if any are in the vicinity, they will they will come for the rotten bodies at some point. I hate these bastards. Just so you know. There we go. Okay, so I'm actually not that interested in clearing out this entire area in the, to this direction. I'm way more interested in getting towards the gun store and uh, the other things there. So let's carefully enter the, the next street. So, Sleek Zombie. So you see that uh, we're uh, also seeing more and more new zombie types there. Okay, well, let's see if we're... Okay. Zombie dog is uh, ruining my plans. Well... Oh gosh, there are so many Z-dogs there. Alright, now we can make a run for it. There's just too many Z-dogs around me. I do take... Uh, into account that the Zeds take a couple of free wax on me. But in a situation like that, I mean, it's a lot of dudes running towards me there. It's all about uh, damage uh, mitigation, you know. It's too many. And if it's ever too many Z's for you, just keep running a bit. Especially past uh, car wrecks. Car wrecks are your best friends when you want to uh, hide out a zombie horde. Zombies have a wonderful habit of uh, sticking to car wrecks. They, they love touching these, you know. They love punching them too. Car wrecks and zombies are going very, very well together. Okay, so we make that. Oof, what an army, wasn't that? Jeez. Didn't expect so many of them there. Alright, so let's uh, do the alcohol wipe thing. And here is something where I feel like, why can't I tell the game to repeat the action until I'm disinfected? You know, these little quality of life things would be amazing. Because I bet that I'm not the only player using alcohol wipes like that. Because they are a damn cheap way of disinfecting your wounds. Unlike uh, disinfectants that are... You know, the wound healing in this game is uh, getting sped up by disinfectant and bandages. And therefore it's uh, not worth using your good disinfectants when you just want to get rid of an infection. You use the good disinfectants to heal faster. Oh gosh, we are in trouble. There's dissolute Devara down there. These things are just a uh, big bad piece of fat. So we're, we're going to avoid this area there. The thing about these, they eat bodies from other zombies and they grow stronger and they have accumulated attributes from the zombies they have uh, consumed so far and they are just, uh, you know, bad news. I think that's uh, enough summary of the meaning of the word bad news. We should come with uh, grenade launchers. Nah. Good shotgun, good combat shotgun is all it takes. But you need to be able to dish out a lot of damage in a short succession uh, of time. Otherwise it's really, really going to be uh, bad for you. Stop pissing me off, dude. You're not going to make it easier for yourself. Yeah, well, I should have just flicked on running instead of fighting the dude on the on the street.
big problem about those dissoluted devourers is that they um, come with a lot of regeneration. It's the biggest bummer about them. They regenerate damn fast. And if you don't uh, pack up enough damage in a short amount of time, like I said, they just regenerate on you and uh, eat you. In case you didn't come up with that by yourself. So, oof, I'm pretty roughed up there. But uh, the the armor I'm wearing now is doing its thing. I I bet that I would be... Oh, I forgot my backpack. I bet that I would have been uh, roughed up way, way harder without all the armor that I'm wearing. Because right now, I gotta say, this guy is really dying damn slowly. I'm used to losing my HP a lot faster. But at the same time, don't feel too comfy with the... Oh, electronic scrap. Um, don't feel too comfy with the amount, with, with the kind of weaponry that I'm rocking right now. My cutlass is uh, also well, to pieces basically. So, well, okay, I'm going to wield it before I don't have anything to wield, but uh, it's hardly better than that. We're going to be better off with uh, rocking art Keltac there. But I knew that these um, swords made out of uh, crappy steel would only have a, uh, a limited lifetime, which is totally okay. Don't need these for a longer period of time. Okay, well, so... I'd say that's been quite some progression today. So that's the real deal cutlass. I don't want to use that as of yet. The arming sword is just real crap. I don't want to try and fight zombies with a uh, aluminum sword. That just doesn't seem like a sane idea. Let's just uh, pick up that uh, long sword out of uh, crap metal and uh, have some fun with that until it breaks too, which it will do after a while, but that's okay. This way these items at least had some use. Augmentative tech review. So, electronics for, alright. Something for later times. Batter up. Ball of tea. So, oh well, these books are not teaching me anything either. It's still worth picking up the books nevertheless because they uh, contain recipes. Therefore, plunder the books. It's also about time to consider plundering an E8 tablet, so we can't just scan those books, so I don't need to carry them all around with me. Food fashions for young moderns. So, here we go. Haven't cooked a single thing during this entire run. Still digesting every uh, cooking uh, thing that I can get and uh, learning a lot there. Right now I'm eating uh, all the uh, leftover things out of the out of the freezers. So, let's see, this is a safe basement. Well, I don't know, I really tried to get into uh, Project Zomboid somehow, but uh, oh man, we just didn't connect. I didn't like the idea of a game that has no that has a real-time based combat which just kills you whenever you just uh, let one enemy bite you for real. I, I don't like this combination, you know. I would have uh, been okay with Zomboid, Zomboid's mechanic with the, with the death clock if it was turn-based, you know. This way I feel like I'm more in control of what's happening. These real-time uh, fights what to, how to say, I mean, at the end of the day, I really felt like it was uh, some weird mini-game to study, you know. 
and uh, I didn't like that too much. Also, at the point uh, where or I was wondering, what do you do when when you know that your dude is zombified in uh, in uh, in Zomboid? Like, why are you still playing them? I I really didn't come up with a uh, good idea why I should stay playing after I got uh, bitten. You know, it's been a really really big problem for me. And I was wondering whether or not that was maybe also connected with me already having so many hours on uh, on CDDA and comparing it too much to that. Probably might have been also the case. I don't know. Just know that Zomboid and me, we didn't connect too well. Which is sad, because uh, I do see the, uh, the insane effort the devs put into the game. So, I am done with that book. Oh, there's something more in there. Yeah, but uh, why should I bother playing these three days if I know that I'm dead anyways, you know? Why should I? Why just not re-roll the character correctly? I, uh... I don't see the, um... The, the, the fun in that, you know? That's my problem. Like, where's the fun in, 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 playing, in playing something that's going to end anyways in a couple of uh, days? I found that a pretty weird thing. It's just like, uh... Like a scenario that's uh, making sense and is fun to watch in a movie, but I didn't feel like it was so much fun to play it. So, let's head back with the longsword. Ah, so you create a new character in the same city, so you, you just keep the efforts the other dude did. Okay, 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 now that, that, that's, that's starting to make sense. Not as if the game would have told us that in any way when my wife and me were trying to uh, get uh, get fond with it. We just uh, went into a uh, chain of perma uh, into a uh, into a series of chain deaths that were not the least little bit entertaining. I don't know. Uh. For some weird reason, I found Zomboid to get harder into than uh, CDDA. But I probably, uh... Probably that's a lot because it's a real-time game. You know, I love turn-based games for the control they give me about the situation. If I ever grow overwhelmed by something, I'm just going to sit back and read what's going on there. And, uh, try to make my, take, try to make my decision. Uh, in a, uh, the amount of time that I see fit. But whatever. I'm happy for all the people that do like Zomboid for what it is, you know? They want to talk it bad. Just realized that we didn't connect. Alright, so, Fado, come on over here. Oh, come on. Are you seriously too dumb to walk around a corner without me and making extra noises? Jeez. Zombies these days. Back in my old days, even the zombies were smarter. Alrighty. So the longsword I'm wielding here is pretty crappy, but it has one advantage. It seems to be heavy enough to shove around the enemies. Whenever I uh, I noticed that a couple of the, my enemies were, were pushed back after an attack of mine, so... Okay, so my dear friends, this is where I'm going to end stream number one for today. We're going to continue with some other roguelike goodness. Not sure where I'm going to head as of yet. Um... Yeah, well, Alpha Dash, hey. 
hi there, missed to say hi. So, back to the point. It's the end of the, today's CDDA stream. I'm going to continue with something else in a couple of minutes. I thank you all for a good time and uh, drop a comment down below. A thumbs up would be nice. Also a subscription if you haven't done so already. You will find in the description box links to the social media where I do announce all the streams. There's Discord, there's Twitter. There's also a link to the playlist if you want to see how this all started out with Old Man Icon. And PayPal and Patreon are there waiting for your support. So, thanks for watching and have a good time. See you guys in the next one.